Hello Gemini, how are you doing today? Welcome back to another reading. And if you're new, hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Soulful. My name's actually Kendra, but Soulful works. <laughs> A lot of people call me that anyway, because it's the persona that I have here on my channel. Okay, Gemini, I am ready to get into your reading. If I have any announcements, they'll be at the end of the video, okay? Hi, you guys, how are you? Oof. I have myself a good cry. <laughs> it's been one of those days, okay, Gemini? One of those days. I just, I just had to. Just had to. Okay. Whew. Starting to get cold here, and scarf weather is coming, and I love scarves. You know how some people have the whole, like, I buy too many shoes, I buy too many purses, or um, I like to collect shirts or, you know, types of glasses? Mine is scarves, okay? I have piles of them that I've had to, you know, kind of give away in the past <laughs> when I've had too many. I just love them. There's something about them I adore. <laughs> All right, Gemini. Tell me, what is going on in the world of Gemini? What is going on in the world of Gemini today? What is going on in the world of Gemini? Ooh, Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay. Something that you want to start, but you haven't been able to. Oh, this was a, this was a, I'm going to put this back in. That was upside down. I don't know if that happened. It was the sun in reverse, but I'll keep that in mind just in case. Some of you may be really unhappy right now about some kind of star. Oh, we've got queen of wands. Okay. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign in your life. Gemini, what's up with that? You could have fire placements, but I really do feel this person is in your energy. This is someone in your energy. Wow, King of Wands in reverse. This is your energy. This is your energy and this is the other person's energy. What is going on? I feel Gemini, there's a there's something up. Um Wow. Uh this, this is kind of chaotic. Okay, so I feel right now, Gemini, what's going on in your life is a bit dramatic. There is some serious drama. I feel as though you are, you're, you're having a problem with, with, with someone who is your match. Okay, this is someone that is, they, they match you, uh, or at least you match them. And you may also have fire in your chart. Okay, uh, Gemini, what is up? I feel as though there was something you wanted to start, some kind of passionate new beginning or the other person. Your, your queen of wands here. You're blocking it or they're blocking it. Blocking passion for one another. This is it. And maybe someone here is, uh, they're a little bit more open here with the queen of wands. They're a little bit more open to discussing things with you, okay, and communicating with you, taking action with you, but I just see some, maybe something ended in disaster or it's just not getting off the ground, okay? So if you feel as though that resonates with you, stick around. Let's go ahead and get into clarification. I actually wanna shuffle these three times just to be sure. I cleansed my cards today, but I do want to shuffle. I shuffled them a lot, but I want to, I just, I go what I'm drawn to, you know, I go what I'm drawn to. Let's see. Okay. Tell me about the Ace of Wands in reverse. Also could be an issue with communicating with your person. Maybe you guys are fighting currently and now you're starting to block off your, your passion or yeah, it just feels a little bit volatile at the moment. Okay. Seven of Cups. Mm. Ooh, dare I say it. Um, dare I say it. Here we are again. More fire energy. What's going on? Uh, we got another Queen of Wands here. Whoop. King of Pentacles. 
Okay, so I feel Gemini, this is in your home life. This is this is definitely in your home life, and this is someone that is around you in your home life, all right? And I feel as though you, this is also your energy, the King of Pentacles, someone who takes care of business, okay? You are taking care of your home life. You are being fatherly, okay, or motherly, doesn't really matter. This, this is just the energy, and you're also career-oriented. I feel that you're dealing with... Um, you're dealing with a queen of wands here that it has options. Okay. And I feel what's happening is they are withdrawing their passion and emotion from you and they want to give it to somebody else or you see this happening and you, you see that they have options and now you are withdrawing your passion from them, but you're still, it's, it's like you're still committed to the situation. Maybe both of you are exploring options. Okay, tell me about the Queen of Wands. I want to know about this Queen of Wands because this came up twice here. And it is, you're very heavily involved in this. You are. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. You see this? We have a, a king, uh, king of Pentacles and a Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, this Knight of Pentacles has stopped to have a conversation with the king of pentacles okay he's not moving he's getting the information that he needs from his king right and he's saying um you know let's talk but they're stuck they're just stuck there talking this is telling me there is an issue here there is a conflict between you and another person and you're trying to rationalize it you're trying to make sense of it you're trying to figure out what it is you can do next Okay, with your Queen of Wands. Ooh, we've got Seven of Swords here. Ouch. Okay. <sighs> Somebody got messy with the king. Um. <laughs> wow. So I feel like your person, okay, is definitely this Queen of Wands, Saggy, um, Energy, Aries, uh, Leo, possibly as well. Um, they're retracting their passion from you. I, I wouldn't say that it's, it's a case of them not being passionate towards you as well. This could just be someone who wants more options in their love life, but I feel this is causing you an internal conflict and maybe they don't realize it yet. Maybe you haven't expressed it to them. Okay, with this uh, Knight of Pentacles, maybe you need to express that this disappoints you because I feel this is disappointing you. I really do. All right, Gemini. Give me some more cards here. Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, this is fucking with your commitment with, with whoever you're with. I think that the that you, you know, you're the king of pentacles, but this person wants to go out. They want to go out and explore. They want to do something passionate. They want to see what other options they have in life. Heck, it doesn't even have to be a person. But I feel this person has hidden it from you or you are hiding your feelings. Okay about wanting different passion in your life, in their life. And, and it's hurting, it's hurting the commitment. It's messing with the commitment. So now it's all topsy turvy in your guys's relationship. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some more. We've got King. Here you are King of swords in reverse. Ouch. Okay. So what is definitely happening is the less you talk about this, because you're definitely not talking about this or taking action towards it, okay? You are just stopped towards it. Maybe you feel like, you know, you've got it. You're going to have to just buckle down and block off how you feel, okay? And, and I do think that that's what this is all about as well. The King of Swords is also your energy in reverse, okay? You are basically hiding the truth, about how you feel within this situation of the person that you are with, okay? And I feel it's blocking off the heart. It's making you cold, Gemini. And that is probably because you're not communicating or you want to communicate. You can flip this energy, all right? This could also be the other way around. You are wanting to explore you're wanting to explore and go out of this, but the person you're with is not communicating how disappointing that actually is. And it's messing with your guys' the, the status of your commitment, okay, towards one another. This is testing you, okay? This is testing. And so it's causing it's causing a block. It's causing a block in, in the relationship in your external, okay? 
Let's get one more card. Tower. Tower. So, Gemini, before I pull a couple more cards here, uh, we also have here on the bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands, again, in reverse, okay, which we had at the start of the reading here. Okay, and then now we have the tower here. So what has happened is somebody wants to explore. Okay, somebody wants to escape this relationship. Could be you, could be the other person. You'll know, okay? I don't I don't think I need to tell you who it is. You'll know who this is. And um, one of you does not agree, okay? One of you does not want this, but it's messing with your commitment. And I feel as though it is causing a rift. And this rift is going to break apart but perhaps it has to with the tower maybe both of you have been um the ace of wands is a, a very dispassionate energy it's very much uh don't really care anymore energy if if you don't have a fire for something anymore what's the point what is the point maybe both of you have been in this commitment for such a long time that uh, you know you're not passionate about each other anymore. And for some reason, you're, you're not working on it. I feel like you're not working on it here with your Knight of Pentacles. Okay. And so Gemini, what's, what's, what the, the next choice here is really up to you. Do you let the tower happen because it has to, there's, you know, there may be something beautiful after, or do you continue the fight or do you hide and block off your emotion and get cold and, you know, just let the situation play itself out. Um, because I feel there has been some deception between you and your person. Okay. There has been definitely deception and the deception has to do with all this. I get the vibe that somebody has been emotionally cheating. Okay. And not telling you they are dissatisfied with the relationship. Someone may have been doing that. Texting others at night. Um, Telling others, you know, putting their passion towards other people or heck, this doesn't even have to be other people. It could be endeavors in their life. It could be uh, passions that they have for other things in their life or taking over and kind of making the stable situation. You may have earth in your chart as well, making the stable situation unstable. Okay. And you work hard. So whoever this person is, I feel like they're playing. I feel like your queen of wands wants to play. Okay. Quite possibly, but let's go a little deeper. Gemini. Boy, that thing won't stop burning. I tell you, it just keeps burning. It's going to get a lot of smoke in here. Tell me about the Queen of Wands over here. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Tower again, but this time in reverse. I feel that somebody, okay, in this relationship, like I said, this could be you, this happened with, or it could be them. I feel as though somebody <laughs> was trying to keep things in check, okay, with the tower in reverse here. They, and, and it didn't happen. Okay, it didn't happen. Like I said, the deception here was, it was, it was probably found out. Okay, which, which has caused the problem with the commitment in this relationship with the Hierophant in reverse. Okay, and I do feel that it, it, just, it just happened. You found out, they talked about it, they may have just openly, <laughs> for some of you, they may have, or you, okay, have just openly admitted, I'm not feeling good about this anymore and I want to go after something else. But you're still together. This is what I am hearing. You are still together despite the fact that this has been discussed. So you're blocking off emotion and tower is coming in the future energy. Okay. This it's all over here. We got the tower. It's <laughs> literally, um, but it might be a needed necessity. Okay. Tell me about the, uh, tell me about the sneaky. Tell me about the uh, sneaky sneak. Ho oh, ho, getting away with stuff. Um, okay, we have Queen of Swords in reverse. Ouch. And High Priestess. Okay, so yeah. 
unfortunately, I feel this has been a long time coming uh, for some of you that the, the Queen of Swords here, like your person was also blocking emotion from you and you picked up on it. Intuition picked up on it a long time ago. I feel like you knew a long time ago, okay? You may have noticed by the way that their emotions were that um, there was something going on underneath the surface. Mm -hmm. And you probably picked up on it and, and it, it kind of warned you, it kind of told you like, hey, this is not the status quo, there's something up here. And you knew and though, and now we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, okay, it's like, basically telling the king, hey, um, you know, something's wrong in paradise, sir. Okay. <laughs> All right, tell me about the tower. And this energy over here, tell me about the tower. Oh my god, Ace of didn't yeah, we had that on the uh, the bottom of the deck, didn't we? Yes, here it is. Ace of Wands again. We have Ace of Wands three times here. I don't know how else to say this, Gemini. Okay, whichever one of you is dealing with this, but the passion is gone. <laughs> okay, the passion is dead, and I. Fear for this situation with all this tower and these this ace of swans in the reverse three times, okay, that some of you maybe need to hear this. It's 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 possibly over. Okay, it's possibly quite possibly over, and your person is now passionately pursuing other interests, okay? So maybe maybe it's it's a good idea to um here we've got Gemini energy. On the bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords. Maybe you want to go somewhere else. Yeah, because look at this. It wasn't working. Three of Pentacles and in in, Ten of Pentacles here. Okay, Empress in reverse. Okay, yeah, like there is a problem here in this home life, okay? <sighs> Maybe, you know, you want to you wanna move out. You want to you wanna do something. You want to communicate that this is not working. Okay, you, maybe you need to communicate this home life is not working and yet I feel some of you have been sticking with it because you think you're supposed to here with the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, so I don't really know what else to say except that, Jesus Christ, that's burning and I've got a lot of smoke in here. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, gems. Um, <laughs> the, ow. Oh, I just hit my tripod. Um, yeah, there there was a lot of smoke in here. I had to go take care of it. So uh, otherwise my smoke alarm was going to go off and my sa one of my stations, it kind of went crazy. So I had to go put it in the sink. Um, maybe the, the, the herbs were a bit old. Maybe they're just a little too dry. Uh, <laughs> I found it funny because when I actually got up to go put the sage in the sink, all I could think was like, Jesus Christ, all this smoke. And then I thought about the ace of clubs, um, sorry, clubs, ace of wands in reverse. And I was like, oh, your guys' fire has really been put out. There's smoke everywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, Gemini, if you needed to hear this, uh, some of you needed to hear this, that uh, if you're going through this situation right now, you're in, you're transitioning, I feel you are, with this tower here, and there's going to be some growth, okay? There's going to be some growth. So let's get some oracle here for you, Gemini, okay? What advice do we have for Gemini? What advice do we have for Gemini? What advice do we have? Oh, that's making me lightheaded. If I pass out, call 911, okay? Tell them to figure out um, where Soulful Artist is on YouTube. Uh, you're very close to achieving your goal. Yeah, with this Ace, uh, sorry, Knight of Swords here, maybe some of you need to communicate and, and you want to. Maybe this is something you've been waiting for to happen or your person has been waiting for it to go out. Um, your dreams need a practical plan. More Earth energy here with Taurus. I feel like some of you work really hard, okay? You work very, very hard. Like your career is your number one thing and this kind of happened under your nose. Um, you may have Taurus and Venus as well. I just heard this for some of you, but I do think that, um, 
you have been focused on practicality in this relationship with this person, this commitment. <coughs> and so what's happening is um, fear of that. I think there's a fear of what will happen with money if you break out of the situation. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have been with this person for stability and with this tower moment here, you're afraid of losing all of the stuff you've built, okay, with, with this person. But if you apply yourself, okay, if you apply yourself, Gemini, in a way that is practical and you continue to keep yourself grounded, once that tower explodes, you'll land on your feet, okay? And heck, whenever the tower happens, it's fine. It's okay. It's going to be fine. It just means that the old foundation is no longer sustainable. All right? The two wizards are getting thrown out of the freaking tower for a good reason. The reason is because they built that tower so high in the sky that fucking Thor blew it out, right? <laughs> uh, a new start is coming. Aha! This is that Knight of Swords energy that you have, okay, that you're going towards. Whew, that smoke is finally clearing up. Whew, that was a lot. Okay, let's get you a Lover's Oracle card. Welcome to Soulful, Art Soulful Artist Tarot Readings, where shit gets nasty and crazy, and she almost burns her house down, okay? Let's get a Lover's card. Get a lover's card. What do we have? We're going to take this one, the sexy one. Healing. Ah ha ha. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Let's get one more. Yeah, because, you know, like I said, I feel your person. That the, the issue here is it's not that they hate you. It's not that they dislike you or that they think that you're a piece of crap. Okay, it's not like that. The energy is more like they're accepting of the fact that this was over. It's, it's almost like they just have accepted the truth. But I think that you have had a hard time with it with the um, King of Swords here in reverse. Now, this could be switched. This could be switched. But with the King of Swords here, I think one of you have, has had a hard time accepting it. And the other one is like, look, I, like, it's time to go. Okay, it's time to go. You got the Ace of Wands three times here. So somebody's in denial. You or your person. Someone is in denial about the fact that this is over. Okay, then we have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. This person may still be attracted to you or you may still be attracted to them, but the problem here is they want other things, okay? They may want passion in other areas of their life. So I don't know if you're going for an open relationship type deal here, Gemini, but it's kind of looking like that if it continues to go this way. Let's get you a self-care card and then we're done. Self-care card for, uh, for me today is not to die of smoke inhalation, okay? So let's see what you get. <laughs> Positive affirmations. Somebody's a negative Nancy. Mm -hmm. No more negative Nancy, okay, Gemini? Whoever, you are your person. All right, so this was your reading today. If you want to book me, feel free down in the description box is all the information that you need. I'm going to go clear out some of the smoke so I don't die. See you later. Bye.